let's talk about different ways that we can write formulas. Thank you to assignmentpoint.com. I'm using their beautiful example. Okay, here we have a molecular formula. This is when we write the number of atoms with um, indicated by the subscript of how many we have of each atom. So notice on ethane, there's two carbons and six hydrogens. Now the structural formula is us doing lines, dashes, indicating bonds, trying to show a general shape, a two-dimensional shape best we can, um, of that particular compound. And then the condensed structural formula, we use this more in organic chemistry. Um, we break out repeating units. So check this out. On this ethane, you have a CH3 connected to a CH3. So in the condensed structural formula, they did CH3, CH3. Um, let's look at another example. So here's ethanol. Notice we have some oxygen in this. We have two carbons, six hydrogens, one oxygen. Um, so here's our structural formula, trying to draw out what this looks like. The two carbons are bonded together, a hydrogen around each carbon, um, all four sides of the carbon, except for over here on the right hand side, there's the oxygen. There's the oxygen with that hydrogen, that's the alcohol group is what that's called. And then the condensed formula, they're breaking it into sections, a CH3, a CH2, and then that OH right there. Now, we do have models where we try and draw what the atoms look like, um, particulate form. Um, sometimes you'll see it writ um, written that way. Uh, AP in particular is really um, pushing for students to be able to look at models and identify the relationship between a structural formula or a molecular formula. So if I were going to draw this in a, a model or as a particulate form, I'm actually trying to represent the atoms with different shapes. So I could say a carbon is going to be a triangle and a hydrogen is going to be a circle. And so for this, um, this model of ethane, I would have two triangles connected together, um, and then I would have the circles, which represent the oxygens, bonded. And that would be an example of a particulate form. Now, word of warning, it is so important to count the atoms. Um, if you're doing a particulate form, the number of atoms that you have, so the number of symbols you have, it has to equal the true number of atoms. And you're balancing between reactants and products. So just word of warning, um, you have to make sure that, oh, I've got six hydrogens, I've got my six circles, I've got two carbons, I've got those two triangles, that they match up the model, represents that molecular formula and the structural formula. Thank you.